Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here, and it's time to open up a collection. Bought a small collection from a guy in Illinois. Last, actually, last Sunday, I was going through some of the offers of collections that people had sent me, and I figured, you know, I needed to buy something because unless I buy something, I really don't have time to make videos. And so I love to make videos. Uh oh, wait a minute. This was not the box of the collection. This is the box of a couple things I picked up off of eBay, actually. A couple of Johnny Lightnings. And uh, I got to have more Johnny Lightnings for a display I'm working on. And one of the cars that I needed more of is the Harry Holler, because I've only got one Harry Holler now. So here's another Harry Holler for my Johnny Lightning collection. This one with all the parts. Now, you need to get it in the package so you can get all those parts. And especially, you got to put this thing on there, the tow hook. Otherwise, it just doesn't look quite right. The uh, There are all these pipe things, too. Those kind of look goofy, but maybe I'll put those on. They actually cover up the original pipes there, which uh, it looks like they're gold. I thought they were silver, but these are gold. Can you see it real good? Yeah, that's a neat one. Got a halfway decent price on that at about 130 bucks, and then there was a big rig too. I think I paid 130 bucks for it too, and uh, this one is orange, and it's it's a good, very good orange. It's very bright. Yeah, it's a real nice orange. I've seen a lot of purples, a lot of blues. Haven't really seen any oranges, so this is a real nice one to get. Of course, the card's pretty much toast at this point, but you can put all the parts on. Have a real nice car. This particular seller. Yeah, this particular seller. What did he do? Tracked and insured, 1235. Hmm, must have put a lot of insurance on the box and stuff. I don't really put much insurance on things anymore because in 27 years, I've never had anything lost, which is pretty amazing. Especially considering that every time I send out a box, I'm worried that it'll get lost. Oh, well. All right, so here, actually, this is the collection. This one came from Pennsylvania. Looks like you only put one piece of tape across the top. You know, that could have been trouble right there. You never know when they might jumble up the box and rip the tape off. But I've never really had any problems with boxes or losses or anything like that. I did have one time I had a mysterious something disappeared from inside a box. That was just a little too weird. So... Anyway, let's open this up and see what we've got. Nice little bubble packing in there. Good, good job, good job. Wrapped up, nice, good. And here are the cars. Let's see what we've got. It seemed like there was about 12 or 15 cars in this collection. Not too many. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Here's one. Look at that. Custom Barracuda. Let's get tuned in here. Let's see what have we got. Well, in the picture there, it looked like there was kind of a rub in there, but that's just a reflection. Got a couple of the stickers from the stick-arounds. I think those came from the stick-arounds. But pretty nice shape. Little dullness on the bottom. Not bad. But pretty good little Barracuda. Tires are a little worn on the sides. Not bad. But a good little Barracuda in purple with a dark interior. Nice car to have. We'll put that one aside. Or are we going to put all these this time? I think we're going to put them over here on the side. And go back to the box. I'm going to get my other glasses here. I get out these 2.75 readers so that I can stick my face 8 inches from the phone. And I can actually still make out what the screen says for doing the video on the Galaxy Note 8. Which is a fantastic phone. Alright. These are wrapped up real nice. I think this one's the Boss Haas. Yep, Boss Haas. Nice chrome Boss Haas. i got a bunch of these right now, Boss Haas's. There she is. Got a little faded on the numbers there. Not too bad. A little dull on the motor. Not bad. And pretty good shape overall. A decent little car. In the chrome boss sauce of the brown interior. I tell you what, the white interiors are really hard to find. The white ones are the hard ones to find. Let's go back to the box for some more. Like I say, I think there's about 12 cars in here. And let's see what we've got. Seems like there was something in here I must have wanted. Pretty good. There's always usually something. Okay, here's a car. Olive Corvette. Olive Corvette. This one's got some heavy toning on there. Got some scratches on the roof. That's too bad. Not great shape, but it is an Olive US Corvette. Does have a white interior and the hood opens up just about right. So, it's got a Hong Kong wheel on the back there for some reason. Might have got switched along the way there. But, uh, it's, uh, that's, that's an okay car. 
Too bad it has those scratches on there, though. That's bad. And then the darkening. That's not so great. That's not good. Hoping that one would have been a little better. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a blue hot heap. Yeah, this one's just a little dusty, but actually, taking a look closely, I think it'll look pretty good once it's cleaned up. It's got a little bit of rub there on the uh, fenders. That's kind of typical for the hot heap, isn't it? And got a little dirty there. Got the hooker headers. I think I might leave that on there. Of course, that's a paper sticker, so that might get ruined when I w wipe it down. But hopefully, we can keep that on there. That's kind of neat. Look at that. I love my hooker headers. That's so fun. You know, when I was in grade school, we loved those kind of STP stickers and all moon eyes stickers and all that different kind of stuff. I think there's eight more cars. That would make sense. I was thinking there was 12. So that would leave eight more. It's got to be something something in here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, here we go. Python in green with a shell sticker on the back. Decent shape. Let's look close. Yep. Not bad. I call it excellent condition. Got a little, little wear here and there, but a nice car overall. Make a good car for a collection. Good car for a collection. And this one is a silhouette. Silhouette in gold. A yeah, very pale gold at that. Very pale gold. That's kind of a neat. If you're doing a rainbow, this would go really good in between just after honey gold, gold, and then light gold. You could even call it ice gold. Ice gold. I think it's I think it's a good one. And condition's not great, but it's all right. It would go nicely. It's got a little darkened spots here and there. And the tires are really nice. So worst case scenario, you could put those tires on a better car. All right, next one up to, oh yeah. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted out of the collection. It was a nice pair of snake and mongoose. Mongoose and snake. Let's check out the stickers. Oh yeah. That's nice. See, that's why I buy collections, because there's always something. It's really nice. There's a hair in there. There's quite a few hairs in there, actually. Somebody got their hairs in there when they were putting these stickers together, or maybe got dog hair in there. Anyway, very nice. All five original stickers. Very nice. Let's see, this one's got a little goober on it. A little extra sticky stuff. I think I can get that off. Yeah. Wipe that down. There it is. Just a little extra glue or something. Good shape. Very good. Very nice. Hard to find them with this nice of stickers on them. Really is. That makes a good set. That's definitely a good set. Got to have something in the collection you really want. And that was something I need. I always like Snake and Mongoose cars. They're hard to get with all five stickers on them. Take a look here. What do we got? Red Beadnik Bandit. This time with a half chrome motor, half not chrome motor. That happens occasionally. You can switch it out if it if you need it to. But this one is this one is just in okay shape. It's got a bunch of chips on it. it does have good good color though in the sunlight here. It's nice and bright. Not too much toning. Halfway decent wheels. It's got one of those goofy wheels on the back though. Look at that. It's got that whoa whoa non circular red line. Little red beadnik bandit. <laughs> Go in for it. Okay. And a Volkswagen. This is one of the ones that looked pretty good in the collection. In the pictures, green Volkswagen. It's always good to get another Volkswagen. Volkswagens are just so popular. And this one's got the window. It hasn't fallen out. It's not broken. I don't think. Let's see. It doesn't slide very good. Probably shouldn't mess with that. But it's fine. Get these stickers off. And a nice little green Volkswagen. If I need a tire swap, I can always take one off the Beatnik Bandit. Let's see. No, not that one, but yeah, that'd be a little upgrade. What do you think? A little upgrade for the Volkswagen? I can stick that one on the Volkswagen. All right, two more in this lot of today. August, what is it? August 18th, 2018. All right. Ooh, orange 57 bird. Orange 57 bird. A lot of wear on this one. A lot of wear on this one needs a bath. This one's a dirty one. I just run it through the. Yeah, I could put it in the dishwasher. I'll run it through a cycle or two. Throw it in the washing machine and coat pocket. Nah, you don't need to do that. Just a toothbrush and soap and water will take care of that. 
get that baby shined up a little bit. It's not so bad. It's got good color. It's just rough on the edges and uh, stuff like that. A lot of chips on it, so not so great. But let's see what else we got. One more car, and it, oh, it's a sad little T-Bird. It's a sad little T-Bird. Got a lot of wear on it, but hey, it is a T-Bird. It is a Hong Kong, and uh, T-Birds, T-Birds are really hard to get in nice shape. I get a few of them in bad shape, but not too many in good shape, and you certainly don't see the tough colors like ice blue and ice blue and what else? Let's see, antifreeze, of course, U.S. is what I'm talking about. Antifreeze, light blue. Hmm, there's a couple of other colors I think that are really tough. But the U.S. T-Birds are just almost impossible anyway, and they cost a fortune. But these Hong Kong ones in used shape are not so bad. So there it is. Let's take one final look at the 12 cars in this condition before we call this video done. All right. Okay, so this collection had the following cars. Custom T-Bird in copper. Custom Barracuda in purple. These are the 68s I'm starting with here. The Beatnik Bandit in red. That one's a U.S. car. The other's a Hong Kong. A Python in green. Python in green. Hey, wait a minute. What was I talking about? No, these are U.S. cars. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, U.S. U.S. green custom Volkswagen. U.S. icy gold silhouette. Blue U.S. hot heap. And olive U.S. Corvette. Those are the 68s in this lot. So that's eight of the original 16. Here's a 69, the 57 Bird. Here's a 70, the Boss Hoss Mail Away Special Car. And finally, the Snake and Mongoose from 1970. Now this set most likely came in a race set. What do you think? Do you think it came in a race set or blister packs? Well, that's too bad. You know, the blister packs on these two guys bring about $1,000 in mint condition. So if you would have saved them, you could have almost bought a motorcycle for those $2 worth of cars you bought there back in 1970. This might have come in a set. Now, the set, and in perfect condition with never opened. I've only seen one or two ever perfect condition never opened, and those sell for two or $3,000 now. But, uh, of course, and then if they're open, they're not that expensive. But they're hard to get a decent one. But that's a nice set of Snake and Mongoose cars. So I'm happy with that. Snake and Mongoose. There's a lot of, you know what it is. There's a lot of mongooses around. But there's not so many snakes. There's probably, for every mongoose, no, for every snake, there's probably five mongooses. It might even be more. It just works out that way. They just mongooses are everywhere. Now these cars do come in U.S. or Hong Kong versions. The Hong Kongs, the paint's weaker and the windows are blue. The U.S. the paint is more solid, and the windows are clear. So there they are, folks. A nice little twelve car collection here for August eighteenth, two thousand eighteen. Thanks for joining me. And remember, I have over three hundred videos, and they are timeless. So you can go back and watch any of them today and still enjoy the heck out of them because those videos are timeless, just like Hot Wheels are timeless. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.